All right, we're going to now go in and take a look at scorecards. Let's fire up the remote box. <clears throat> and I have a dashboard designer up and running. And down here previously, we looked at the objective scorecard. I'll pull that on up just to review it. Remember, the objective scorecard was the one that used two KPIs and then rolled them forward to give me a weighted average up in here. What you want to pay attention to here, I'm over on the Edit tab, and I'm in the Settings. And if I click on Settings, these are the changes, the views the set that we can do within a scorecard. And there's four of them. Interactivity, Display, toolbar, yeah, toolbar, and Filters. And we'll go through and take a look at each one of those. Okay, and first thing we're going to do is, uh, come in, let me cancel out of this. I went through and I took the objective scorecard and then I copied, made four copies of it. So I called this one display checkboxes are cleared. Display checkboxes cleared. And what I did up in there was on the settings over on display, see all these checkboxes that are out here are clear. So actual and target headers are gone. Then I have one no interactivity and no, no interactivity on the settings. I cleared out all the checks on interactivity. Then I have one status filter is turned on. And in this one, if we go to filters, here's my filters. I've turned on the status filter to filter empty rows, though we don't have any empty rows here, so we're not showing anything because we're looking at a KPI. But on here, on target, I've selected, but the off target is cleared. And finally, I took toolbar enabled, and on this one, I enabled the toolbar, and it's easiest to see this, I'm going to cancel out this, when you come in and create a dashboard. As a matter of fact, when you're working with your um, the uh, folks that are actually going to be using your scorecards, I suggest that you demonstrate them in the same way that I'm going to demonstrate right now. I've got a dashboard that I set up just to hold the scorecards, and that dashboard, let me see if I can resize this to show it to you. There we go. That dashboard, I have a number of pages on it. So I've got scorecard before changes, and then I've created individual pages to, with the, the same scorecard that was copied, turning features on and off. And this makes life very easy for the end users. So if I right click and I'm going to deploy to SharePoint, and now let me resize this a little so you can see it. Let me resize this a little so you can see it. There, oh, that, no, that's good enough. <clears throat> okay, across the top of this dashboard, here are the pages that we have uh, created. And each one is a copy of this original. Right, so here I have my scorecard demonstrations, the name of the dashboard, and scorecard before changes. Here's my object, this is the page, and this is my objective scorecard. And you can see it's got interactivity, and etc. And if I right click on here, I can also come in and do a comment. So I can come in and put a comment in there if I wanted to, or anyone can, about the scorecard. Now here's a scorecard with no interactivity. All right. And if you notice, the little negative is gone, so I can't expand or contract in here. And if I right-click here, I, I just get the standard pop-up you know, for a, a web, but I do not have my comment pop-up. All right, again, there's a scorecard before changes. Here's my interactivity. Now we're going to look at scorecard with display checkboxes cleared. Okay, you see there's no header up in here. Actual target, target checkbox is clear, display is checked. So down in here, I have no actual and target, just so a little. Uh, review. Let's take a look at that. Uh, let me find it. Scorecards. Drill down. With display checkbox is clear, and that's in here in the settings. All right, and on display, I've cleared out all these checkboxes. So now the actual target headers are gone, and you know, wrap text. If you, if by the way, if you're working with KPIs and you're wrapping text, you, you have too much information in your uh, KPIs. But wrap text in cells, right, and we can turn on grid lines, etc. And we can change messages, but this is all cleared on out in here. This is something, depending on what you're doing down here, you know, what you're showing in your scorecard, 
that empty cells can be a, um, a problem for users, so you might want to write a friendly message in there. But anyway, I've cleared this on out. Let's go back over to Designer. So now a scorecard with toolbar enabled. All right, now here's my toolbar. All right, so this is the standard stuff. I can expand all. I can contract all, expand it on down. So if I had an objective KPI that had 30, 40, 50 KPIs dropping on down, and you say that can't be, and I say, uh, yeah, it can. So we've got all that, and you can do it. <clears throat> now I can show as, as a tree or dropping it on down. You see the show as a tree? Now these all look like siblings. All right, I can also come in here and I can do my filters on target. Let's just go off target. See, nothing's off target. We, all right, so we have no bad news. We only want to hear bad news, but let's pretend we're a politician. See, there's only good news, only good news, unless, of course, you elect my opponent. So I can clear status filters, etc. Now I bring that up because also in here with the status filter, you could set that up back in Designer so that instead of using the toolbar, it is set up and then it's, it's not configurable by the uh, um, user. All right, unless, of course, they click in here and then they clear it on out and then they've got that. So this really sets up the status filter, sets up the initial display. Okay. Okay, and that's uh, dashboards, scorecards. There's really not much to the uh, scorecard, much else you can say in here. Remember, a scorecard is really an object that holds uh, other objects. So it's a container. Now, there uh, is one other really important feature of scorecards, which I'm going to cover in this next video.